Fukushima worker concrete reinforcement of spent fuel pool number four is terribly deteriorating. Now in a dangerous state, cooling system stopped working, men were helicoptered in to save the day kind of thing. A search for active earthquake faults near Japan's nuclear power plants may lead to the scrapping of one of them. The implications run deep, not just for the future of the plant, but also for the future of Japan's nuclear policy. NHK World's Yoichiro Tatewa has the story. Seventeen commercial nuclear plants and one major test reactor have been built in Japan. Our incredible selection of worthless shit is just the thing that nobody wants. The Nuclear Regulation Authority was formed after last year's disaster to monitor their safety. Experts at the authority are trying to determine if any of the reactors lie above active fault line. The Tsuruga plant in central Japan has been known to have an active fault running close by. The fault is called Rasoko. Another fault called D1 intersects with the Urasoko fault. It runs right under the facility's number two reactor. A team of experts dug up the ground at the plant so they could inspect the fault directly. The government panel examined the results of the so-called trench survey. Panel members said on Monday that the D1 fault is probably active. They said that the layers of earth near the fault have become deformed, that deformation is believed to cause D1 to become active when the Rasoko fault moves. National guidelines ban the building of major facilities directly above active faults. Shunichi Tanaka is the chairman of the NRA. He had this to say. 
Under the current circumstances, it's my view that we cannot grant a permit to restart the plant's reactor. The authority will hold an official meeting to make a final determination on fate of the Tsuruga nuclear facility. If they conclude the D1 fault is active, the plant's operator will not be allowed to restart the number two reactor. Panel members said on Monday that the D1 fault is probably active. It may have to be decommissioned. It will be the second Japanese nuclear plant slated for decommissioning. The Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant was closed after being crippled by last year's earthquake and tsunami. Many other nuclear plants in Japan could have active faults running directly underneath them. Many other nuclear plants in Japan could have active faults running directly underneath them. They include the oil plant, which the government allowed to go back online in July. These findings are certain to raise questions about the government's ability to make decisions concerning the regulation of nuclear energy. No shit. Yoichiro Tateiwa, NHK World. The operator of the Tsuruga plant issued a statement Monday. The Japan Atomic Power Company says it's impossible to accept a finding based primarily on geomorphology. The utility said it would conduct its own investigation and provide objective data. The company operating the Tsuruga nuclear plant in central Japan indicates it's not ready to give up efforts to put the facility back online. They won't die. In fact, that'll be our motto. They won't die. Officials at Japan Atomic Power Company on Tuesday reacted to the, to the announcement that the presence of an active seismic fault could lead to the decommissioning of the plant. Experts working under the Nuclear Regulation Authority, or NRA, said Monday they believe a fault directly beneath one of Tsuruga's two reactors is likely active. The Tsuruga plant lies close to an active fault called Urasoko. The latest finding relates to another fracture that intersects with the fault. It runs right under the facility's number two reactor. Government guidelines prohibit building key nuclear facilities above active faults. Japan Atomic Power Company Vice President Hiroshi Masuda says he will continue pushing for a restart. We're proud of what our company has accomplished by contributing to Japan's energy industry. We intend to provide a scientific explanation to the NRA and secure the restart of the Tsuruga plant. Masuda also hinted at the possibility of raising electricity rates if the plant isn't allowed to restart. Voters have a lot to think about. We'll be examining the key issues all this week here on Newsline. Energy policy has emerged as one of the biggest points of contention in this election. At the heart of the uh, debate is the notion of health, both the people and the Japanese economy. NHK World's Chie Yamagishi reports. Kenji Kumagai has done everything he can think of to save electricity. He understands what's at stake after what happened in Fukushima. He's hoping he and his neighbors can reduce their dependence on nuclear power. I'd like to see which politicians will take concrete steps to deal with nuclear power. I'll choose the one who shares my way of thinking. The Fukushima disaster forced people in Japan to think about where their energy comes from. Nuclear power accounted for 26% of the supply before the accident. The government plans to raise that to 45% by 2030. Japan had 54 nuclear reactors. The accident prompted operators to shut them down 
one by one for safety inspections. By this past May, all of them were offline. But the people who ran the utilities feared they wouldn't be able to supply businesses and consumers with enough power during the peak summer period. So, in June, the Prime Minister approved the restart of two reactors in Western Japan. Government officials held meetings and asked the public for their views. They wanted to gauge opinion on three options for nuclear power by 2030. Zero, 15 percent, or 20 to 24 percent. More than half the people chose zero. It's out of the question to use nuclear power without clarifying the responsibility of the state. Cabinet members adapted the policy to break away from nuclear energy. They said they do what they can to make it possible to shut down all plants by the 2030s. We face difficult challenges, but we can no longer postpone finding solutions. The search for a solution has prompted Japanese to turn towards the sun and into the wind. Government leaders want to triple the use of renewable energy over the next two decades. The utility executives complain Higher fuel costs are biting into their profits. They've applied to raise electricity prices. It will squeeze my family finances. It has been getting cold, so fuel costs will climb higher. Business leaders complain a zero nuclear policy would create a burden on the economy. Without nuclear power, the price of electricity will increase and the supply will be unstable. The leader of the opposition Liberal Democratic Party, Shinzo Abe, has criticized the no nuclear policy as irresponsible. Some politicians clearly don't agree. They formed a new party focused on the nuclear-free option. This election is the first since the accident in Fukushima, and the first time nuclear power has become a main point of debate. The issue has prompted a political realignment, and it's prompted the voters to realign their thinking about the role of nuclear energy. Finally, over to the nuclear stuff, e, e News. Latest flyover footage of giant sinkhole released oil servicing in new area. Surrounding land now inundated. They have videos uh, attached to that as well. Um, and again, this entire salt dome is unstable and it's looking a lot worse. They're saying the pressure's coming from underneath and not falling down below. So who knows what's really going on down there. They're not telling us. Fukushima worker concrete reinforcement of spent fuel pool number four is terribly deteriorating. Now in a dangerous state, cooling system stopped working, men were helicoptered in to save the day kind of thing, and again, they got to keep these reactors safe for hundreds of thousands of years, don't they, before they are no longer considered dangerous. Uh, not very cheap energy, if you ask me. Shocking video. Methane bubbling up near giant sinkhole. Dead fish all over the place out here now. This is not good. And this is down in Louisiana, of course. It's complicated. Japan op aftershock upgraded to a magnitude 7.4. Government now says there was two quakes at the same time. Official updates. Giant sinkhole started bubbling up around edges. It's now coming from the center. And uh, Arnie Gunderson, that magnitude 7 point quake, likely caused damage to spent fuel racks at Fukushima Daiichi. They are already all broken up and uh, laying on the bottom of the floor in a lot of places. 
Plant Chief, Fukushima 10 times worse than Chernobyl if a containment vessel exploded. That is a major understatement. And uh, Fukushima evacuee, many kids in region with symptoms of health damage. Abnormal changes began to occur on my son. 